Happy Halloween, everyone. I am Troy from Marksaw Movies. I'm just going to ask right away, what the F did I just watch? What the hell is even that? I know this movie is like a year old at this point, but my wife and I decided to dive into Cobweb on Hulu because we were like, eh, it looks creepy, you know, we want something Halloween-ish to watch around this time of year. And I was just blown away, not by anything good about it necessarily, but just like, what? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Either way, we'll get into it. I'll give a spoiler-free review uh, other than, you know, some initial setup stuff. Uh, we'll get into all of that here in just a moment. But if you could, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to stay up to date with everything I post Monday through Friday. I always post brand new stuff, tons of shorts with tons of news, and I also give some uh, reviews and uh, opinion videos and different stuff like that in long form throughout the week. And every once in a while, I go live and I stream. But either way, for Halloween, let's get a spooky movie review for Cobweb. All right, so this one gets pretty graphic at various points, but not until, I'd say, about halfway through. Uh, there is some talk of uh, abuse and uh, uh, kidnapping and whatever of a child. Basically, this kid Peter lives with his odd parents in a really old, creepy-looking house because, of course, and they grow pumpkins all through their yard, garden area, whatever, which is, you know, it is what it is. I'm getting scaredy farts. They're basically trying to up the spooky factor for this movie just on aesthetics alone. And uh, Peter, the kid, acts... I don't know, standoffish. Of course, he's a nerd that gets picked on, so that's going to feed into stuff later on down the line. But uh, he starts hearing noises and voices from the wall, and his parents are like, no, I don't hear anything. It's all in your head, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and you think, well, he's hearing, like, a demon, or he's nuts. You know, he's, like, kind of losing it a little bit. It starts getting worse. He gets picked on by this one kid in school a lot, gets uh, his stuff broken or gets beat up by this kid and tripped by him a lot. So the voice, the the girl voice in the wall who eventually starts talking to him uh, tells him that he needs to stand up for himself and retaliate. So he <laughs> violently pushes this kid down the stairs and breaks his leg really bad. He ends up getting expelled, and his parents punish him in a a weird way where you're like, wait, I mean, that escalated. So, I don't know. And his parents are very creepy people. They're played by um, Lizzie Kaplan, who always is, like, besides Mean Girls and uh, New Girl, she's usually, like, I don't know. She just, she has that look about her, and I hate to say this about her. She has that look about her where she could be creepy, like, very easy so um there's that and then anthony Starr plays his dad mark who if people don't know he plays a uh, homelander in the boys and he has that naturally like he can be creepy too you know like if you just see him on the street you're like yeah whatever but he has that that potential like and and if you see any of the the just the looks he gives as homelander and you're like Crap's about to get real. You're gonna need to harness your repressed rage. I don't have any! Spoken like a person with repressed rage. But you don't really know what to think about the parents if... After a while, you start to think they're kind of nuts and they're monsters. But the kid also has some potential of uh, being a little like that, too. And they tell him a story about they won't let him trick-or-treat because there was a kid down... Uh, a little girl down the road that got kidnapped uh, the year before he was born. Nobody knows what happened to her. It traumatized his parents so much they don't want to let him out on Halloween because that's when she got uh, kidnapped and, and whatever. And so it just traumatized his parents so much they won't let him go out on, go trick-or-treating at night and all that. All of this is kind of, I don't know, you start to wonder, it's like, did the parents kidnap uh, the little girl, some possibly supernatural stuff starts happening. That's why you think maybe it's a demon in the wall. 
I'm not going to give any spoilers away and tell you exactly what's going on, what he's hearing, what he's seeing, but uh, let's just say crap gets cranked up, especially in the third act. It's very gory. Uh, You don't get to see much of the violence. It's done like somebody gets pulled behind a wall, and then you get to see the aftermath of it, you know? So things happen uh it gets very gory if you don't like that kind of stuff especially gore against uh uh, for like children like that bothers me a lot this one it it did bother me but just the whole movie in general wasn't great so i don't know and, and the ending is left a little bit ambiguous but i don't know what basically what he finds in the wall or what he finds out is is potentially in the wall. Um, it, it's it's got to be real at some point because his parents start reacting when he's he finds like hey, there's a hole in the wall and there's this and whatever and they start reacting in very angry kind of ways and I don't know it, it it's a good setup a, a good premise but again I hate these kind of movies. The boy was like that. Uh, there were other movies I'm blanking off the top of my head, but there's there's so many. Something is maybe possibly in the wall. Is it supernatural or is it real? Uh, is it creepy or not? Kind of deals. And the explanation for stuff at the end kind of makes sense, but is also unsatisfying. No, it's just dumb. And and there's some supernatural elements that they don't explain in the movie because there's supernatural stuff that goes on in the movie some of it could be explained like that the that that uh the kid peter is seeing uh could be explained as like dream or a nightmare or whatever some of it not so much and some of it is like right in front of everybody and also we get some characters doing dumb stuff that it's like dude nobody in real life would act this way you're just making them extra super stupid to move this plot along i don't know and it's got an ambiguous ending that i effing hate some ambiguous endings are fine you're like "Eh, okay i can pretty much figure out in my mind what happened sort of maybe uh, this one, not totally, and then it, it's like if anybody saw, I think it's called The Turning, uh, where they basically tried to make a modern retelling of Turning of the Screw, and the ending of that, just you are just like, what the, what? This one wasn't quite that bad, but it was, it was not good, I'll say that. If, if you're looking for something really good, really creepy, that you're going to walk away going, oh man, that gave me chills, whatever, this is not it. It looked like a cool psychological thriller, and it does F with your mind here and there. But it's not great. Not great, Bob! Like, Lizzie Kaplan has been hit or miss. Like, I enjoyed Castle Rock, but season two was weird. I think she was the perfect choice to play Annie from Misery, uh, younger uh, than Kathy Bates. I think she was perfect for that. She, she, She made it work, and she acted like... Uh, if anybody's seen Misery, I th- she really must have studied that because she acted a lot like that Annie, how uh, Kathy Bates pulled it off. I enjoyed it, um, but it was meh narratively, um, and she's been in some other like meh movies, um, and then you've got uh, Anthony Starr, which I've he's been in some stuff like uh, th- that I never really gave a crap about. The only thing that I I really know of, like, big time that he was in was The Boys. It's not like this had a ton of, like, star power where it's like, uh, like, you recognize him, but you're not like, oh, man, they're in it? It is a little weird. I found out that Deborah Wilson plays one of the characters, and you're not going to know it's her because it's just, like, her voice, and you're not going to recognize her voice. Um, One of the supernatural elements, I'll say, or possibly supernatural elements. You'd have to watch the movie to know what I'm talking about. All in all, just this movie was like, who the hell thought of this, you know? Like, the premise is super simple, but also made kind of complicated and weird. It was it was something. But anyway, I, I still don't know what the F I just watched. Comment down below with what you guys thought about it. If, if, have you seen it? Have you seen previews for it? Do you want to know more? I can definitely go into more uh, spoilery territory 
um, in, in a different video or on social media if anybody wants it. But I just saw this movie last night, and I was like, what just happened, man? Like, I haven't watched a lot of horror films this year. I, I like mostly psychological thriller type stuff, so I was into this. Didn't do it for me, man. Didn't set my goose loose. Didn't uh, It didn't float my junk, if you know what I mean. But it, let me know down below if, if you have seen it, what you think about it. Do you share my opinions and all that? The uh, the rating score or the tomato meter on uh, Rotten Tomatoes is 59% from the from the critics. And the audience score, the popcorn meter, is 71%. Eh, I guess. I mean, it's a... You don't have to think too hard about a lot of it, but there were certain parts where I'm like, how and why? And eh, it gets very, like I said, it gets very gory near the end. Um, but, it, you know, if you don't like violence against children either or people under the age of 18, uh, this might not be the right movie for you. Um, but, uh, yeah, either way, I'd like to hear from you all down in the comments section. If you could, please share this video around to everyone you know. This is my second Halloween movie review of the day. Uh, give your friends a treat and a trick with uh, this video right here. And uh, give me just treats when uh, you like the video. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified every time I post brand new content. I appreciate you watching this and uh, joining along down my weird journey um trying not to give spoilers on this really odd freaking film uh with with annie from misery and uh homelander from the boys uh but either way uh, i am troy from marks on movies happy halloween everybody we'll see you next time